Hey babe, I made the first rolling vacuum. Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and this is the Xiaomi Jimmy JV51 vacuum cleaner. Let me tell you more about it. This video is brought to you by me and my money and I actually bought this uh, Xiaomi vacuum cleaner and the choice to buy this exact model was influenced by a channel that I really like which is called Vacuum Wars. So there, there are all the stats, uh, all the parameters of vacuum cleaners are tested and a lot of the stuff in this review is based on the Vacuum Wars channel. So subscribe to them to see more content about vacuum cleaners and air filtration systems. And in this video I'm gonna test the acceleration of this vacuum cleaner, the range test, the battery efficiency and so on. But first let me guide you through the specs. So it has a 0.5 liter dustbin here which is actually pretty easy to empty and you have no hassle with uh, your usual vacuum bags. So this is a box that is just included to the vacuum cleaner and yeah, you just empty it, nothing more than that. It comes also with a HEPA filtration system and in uh, comparison to other budget vacuum cleaners in this price point, it actually doesn't let the air or the particles out of the machine. So it's pretty much a enclosed system. There's just little going out from uh, this area here and again to see how the, well this performed in a the vacuum seal thing test. Just look up the video on Vacuum Wars about this uh, vacuum cleaner. The battery is a 20 21.6 volt and 2.5 amp hour unit, so around 56 watt hours I suppose. It charges in 5 hours from 0 to 100%. This gives you around 7 minutes or 8 minutes of uh, vacuum cleaning in high power, and actually high power is really powerful in this vacuum cleaner. The only vacuum cleaner that is more powerful than this one in terms of like handheld devices with batteries is the Dyson V11 which is like $400 more expensive. And in the low power mode it gets you about I think 35-40 minutes of um, battery life depending 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 on uh, it also depends if you have this uh, soft roller cleaner attachment had installed because this drains the battery a little as well. Sadly it doesn't come with external lighting, the on off switch is here and here is the mode switch. Uh, the charger is actually already integrated so you just need the cable to plug it in here and it will charge and the battery is actually removable so you can just leave the vacuum cleaner outside. Where's the button? Uh, lock it in place and just charge uh, the battery at home. Another thing I really like about this vacuum cleaner is that it is modular. So this is like the main part of the vacuum cleaner and you can just uh, count that and attach different cleaner head attachments to it. So you can use this one for like small, oh, actually it's quite dirty. And now how high power. <laughs> Yeah, it's really powerful. So you can use this one for like small stuff, and you can use uh, you can use this one for even smaller stuff. And this uh, cleaner hand attachment is for like your sofas, or if you want to clean uh, clean maybe the inside of your car. Also works pretty well. I cleaned my sofa with this a couple times, and uh, the piece de resistance naturally is is this soft roller cleaner hat so uh, yeah and actually you, you also have uh, this uh, pipe like extending thing pipe so you can uh, either connect all the attachments directly to the cleaner or to this uh, pipe 
And the soft brush cleaner head is so good because it's really good on hard floors. So it is not the best to, to clean like deep clean carpets. If you have a lot of carpets at your home, uh, this won't be the perfect uh, um, vacuum cleaner for you, but it is awesome on hard floors because it can pick up like large debris and small debris at the same time. To put it into practice, I will show you how this thing vacuums. So right now, you can see like there's no dust, no like nothing on the floor and and to see what it is on the floor the best way to do it is to make the room really dark. So let's close these light this light and yes I know you can see a thing now but if I just use my torch which is here boom you can see all the dust building up on the floor. So for example, here you can see it. Like this is so much dust. And now I'll just take the Jimmy and show you how it eats up the dust. And can, you, can you see it in the middle? There's like nothing in the middle. And on the sides there's dust. So yeah, let's check if it also works with larger debris like I don't know sugar okay guys I didn't find any sugar but I did find salt oh yeah salt so let's just oh my god that's not that's too much salt shit anyways let's turn on the Jimmy And it's all gone. Okay guys, but I don't know if this might be a bit too heavy duty. Here I have picked up some metal stuff that I have lying around in my uh, toolbox. So this might be a bit too hardcore. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it didn't pick up everything. And this is the attachment that you should have if you have mostly hard floors in your apartment. So this is really awesome, works really well, and I'm very satisfied with this attachment. Now that we are done with the specs, let's move on to the tests. Hey babe, I made the first rolling vacuum. So listen guys, naturally we also have to test the performance of 
this magnificent machine. It's not really recommended to go outside, so I made a track for this awesome dragster of a vacuum cleaner. Here is the Insta360 attached, and this is the track. So it's around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight meters long. So it starts right there, and he'll go hopefully in a straight line up to here, and it will also measure the time. So. Without further ado, actually, we'll leave it on. Uh, let's start. Okay, so I have the stopwatch ready, and we'll go in the first setting in three. Oh, no, don't go yet. No, three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. Come on, once more. Uh, okay, so there's a small issue because of this hill right here. Might be just a little bit. Maybe if I start from here, he'll have enough power to cross this hill. It's a really big hill. Let's start once again. Three, two, one, go. And off it goes. Yes. Yes. Oh shit, I forgot to. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Two. One, go! And it rolls away! What a magnificent machine! So powerful! Oh, no. yeah, I'll, I'll eat it a bit. It has a bit of problem with turning right. And cross the line! In just 12 seconds and 54 um, hundreds of a second. So. Let's try now with uh, the second mode turned on. Okay, the second mode is on. You can hear that it's way more powerful. It just last seven minutes with this mode. But you can see actually it's way slower. It just has too much suction up in the front, it just doesn't go anywhere. So if you want to race this thing, the only reasonable way to do it is to get the first mode running. Watch out for the turns. Oh yeah, nailed it! And yeah, now probably we have to test the other cleaner attachments. So this one works. Oh does have to have an issue. Yeah, they didn't properly design this one for racing because obviously you can see that the tilting angle here is not enough to touch the surface. So this one won't work as well. Nope. Not enough suction. I thought this thing is like as strong as a jet engine, but actually no. No. So the only reasonable thing for driving with uh, this um, vacuum cleaner is the soft roller attachment. So I hope you have seen the day today. I hope you like this video and still, even though it's, this review is like a joke, I highly recommend this vacuum cleaner. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. And again, thanks to my Patreons, Bosmanati and GEXN. See you soon. And I almost forgot, there's also this attachment here so you can actually mount uh, this to a wall. It also does come with a set of screws and then you can just hang your um, vacuum cleaner on the wall. I didn't do it yet because, uh, yeah, I'm a bit lazy with that.